Hey guys, welcome back to the range. Today I wanted to do a video to answer an email that was just sent to me uh, yesterday, and this is really great. Uh, this is from one of my students who was actually out here just a few months ago. And he says, I just finished watching your a handgun training session with Tier 1 Citizen and I enjoyed the video. What caught, my e what caught my ear was you talking about retraining your eyes after your LASIK surgery. Well, after my, well, after my last training session with you, you inspired me to get my vision corrected. It turned out that I needed to have cataract surgery to correct the stigmatism along with the cataracts. I'll finish up with my treatment this week. I now have 20-20 vision for distance. That's awesome. That's awesome. I still need to wear glass. Oh, where'd they go? There we go. I still need to wear glasses, and uh, I still need to wear readers for close up. But that is a small price to pay for not wearing glasses for most of what I do. Yes, 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 yes. Because that's how I feel about it too. And by by the way, guys, you can see I'm reading my phone, and look, the text is not massively huge. Okay, I can read it from right here. What LASIK surgery has done for me is phenomenal. Because, like I said last time I was out here, that building on the hill that is, what did we say? I think it's 1,200 yards or something like that from where I'm standing. I can see the corrugated ribbon, uh, corrugated ribs in the steel siding of that building from where I'm standing, which is astounding. Um, da -da 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 -da. He says, I'm heading to the range for the first time after my procedure today. Any suggestions as to what... I need to work on to retrain my eyes. Also, do you think that your handgun intensive course would be a good one for working on training my eyes as well as practicing those drills that I cannot do at my local range? Okay, yes, I will say his first name. Yes, Steven, yes. Um, that's why I'm doing this video. Um, okay, so basically what I did was, I read that email this morning and I was like, oh heck yeah, this this is gonna be an this is definitely gonna be a video. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys a really great drill for those of you that have had surgery on your eyes, are thinking about having surgery on your eyes, are wondering what life is gonna be like after. Uh, I'll give you the brief thing. Um, when I had LASIK surgery, before I had LASIK surgery, my visual acuity without contact lenses was this right here. I could only see clearly from about here to about here. If I got too close, I couldn't see clearly. If I got any further than about this, I couldn't see jack crap. And so I had my LASIK surgery, and as soon as you're done with LASIK surgery, like instantly, your vision is really good. And um, within 24 hours, uh, the healing process or begins within hours, but within 24 hours, I had my first exam, and my doctor said, you are now 2010. And so when you have LASIK surgery, that is technically, um, it's not an implant, which is what intraocular lens is. It is a correction of what is there. So you are technically not even wearing correction once, you have, once you've had LASIK, which is why you actually have to go back to the DMV and have your eye exam done so they can remove corrective lenses off of your driver's license. Uh -huh. So getting back to this. Roughly seven yards is what we're working with here. And I apologize the condition of the targets. My kids were out here shooting with me the other day and they chewed them up. Um, so anyways, uh, and I don't have my paint with me. Um, what we're dealing with is lollipop, head, lollipop. So basically what we're after is six inches, six inches, six inches. I want good central tight hits. And the reason for that is I don't want you just randomly aiming. I want you aiming specifically at one particular area of that target. I want you having a very specific aiming position. Because part of what happens when you're retraining your eyes after surgery is you lose your close-up vision and what you're having to now do is you're having to basically accept the fact that your laser sharp focus is not here. It's just not there. I don't have a laser sharp focus on my front sight post. I have a good focus on my front sight post, but I don't have a laser sharp focus on my front sight post. So I have to settle for the good enough shot. And by the way, seven yards is probably, is probably five yards further back than where most shootings are gonna occur. Most shootings are gonna occur when someone is like right up on you. Remember, law enforcement shootings are different than private citizen shootings, okay? Private citizen shootings are some dope actually manages to get right up on you before you react and now he's too close and now you have no choice but to backpedal a little bit and shoot or potentially shoot from here or from here 
So shooting at someone from a civilian standpoint is a very close thing, which is why seven yards is a decent distance at which to do this. Why, why this distance is mostly because I want you to be far enough from the steel targets that you're not getting hurt, but close enough so that you can track left, right, or middle. And that's the key to this. This drill is gonna be done with your back turned to the target, five second par, like the church defense drill, five second par. And because there's nobody else with me, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna to do to create the effect of having someone saying, as soon as you turn, as you begin to turn, having someone say to you, left, right, middle. And if you wanna get froggy, put one behind this one and call it far. So it actually becomes left, right, near, far. Because you want to, you want to get the eyes accustomed to tracking what the brain is telling them to do, and then the eyes aim the hands. Typically, it's the ears aim the, the ears aim the eyes, the eyes aim the hands. Well, there's no, there's no one shooting at you. So it's the eyes aim the, aim the, can't talk today, the eyes aim the hands. But it has to be a spontaneous, you can't be thinking about this, otherwise your eyes are going to go like this and they're gonna track onto something and they're gonna lock onto something. And what I want you doing is having your eyes looking this way, spinning around, and then mentally you've just heard, well, technically, yeah, the, the ears are gonna aim the eyes. The command is gonna be, let's say it's left. So now the ears aim the eyes, left. The eyes aim the hands, take your shot. All has to be done inside of five seconds. And so for those of you who are home and who either don't have a shooting partner or don't have a shooting chronograph, this is what I'm gonna do for you. All right guys, before you press play on the recording that I'm gonna put up for you guys to download, make sure you're ready to shoot, okay? Because the next sound you're gonna hear as soon as you press play, and I'm gonna give you enough time to press play and drop this into your pocket, you're gonna hear a beep and it's gonna be on. Left, left, left. Shooter ready? Left, 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 left. Shooter ready? Right, right, right. Okay. Now, I'll run it for you guys. Left, left, left. Oh, training ammo. Shooter ready? Left, 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 left. Shooter ready? Right, right, right. You guys saw that, right? I skipped right off my shirt. Sure. Ready. I'm leaving it in. Center, 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 center. Shooter ready. Left, 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 left. Shooter ready. Center, 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 center. Oh, that was terrible. By the way, guys, feel free to give this multiple hits if you want to. Doesn't Shooter to ready. One. Left, 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 left. Shooter ready. Right, 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 right. Shooter ready. Right, 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 right. Oh, I forgot to grab another mag. Look at me laying an egg on camera. <laughs> Oh, I think that was all of them. Yeah, I think that was all of them. Well, I lucked out. You guys get the idea. 
yeah, that must be all of them. Okay. Yeah, you guys get the idea. So basically, what you're doing is you're creating your range buddy. I don't have a range buddy. 99%, probably 99.9% .9 of the time I come out here, I'm by myself. Um, which is why I try not to get too out of control because if you shoot yourself out here, you're in trouble. Um, but I'm going to have this actually, what I, tell you what, I'm going to redo this recording because as I've been running this for you guys, this is cold. I didn't, I didn't practice this. I recorded it and I ran it. As I've, as I've been running this for you guys, I've noticed some errors that I need to fix because I need to give you guys a little bit more time and I also need to be very clear in the instructions because I realize that, um, actually, you know what? For those of you that don't have digital here in protection that you can plug in, um, uh, earbuds, put your earbuds in, put your hearing pro over them because if you don't have digital, and, and honestly, even if you do have digital and it has a jack, some of today's digital is so fussy, unless you have the, the Sordans, some of the digital is so fussy that it will do a lot of popping as you move and you won't actually hear me, which is why I'm giving you guys the command multiple times, left, 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 right, 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 center, center, center. I have a zeal for sharing shooting techniques, and um, I, I love sharing this stuff because I firmly believe that if more Americans would shoot, we would have far less of this of this lack of understanding of what firearms are actually about but for those of you who've had eye surgery or uh, cataract extraction or whatever the case may be if you've, if you've had eye surgery and you're needing to retrain your eyes to get accustomed to what it is that your vision is now this is going to be a great drill for you and like I said um, I'm going to have a link in the description of this video i think what i'll do is i'll find a way to upload this audio file to my website so it'll always just be sitting there and um it'll link and you guys can grab it or you can do this for yourself on your own cell phone it's not that hard um it's the five second shot timer that is the key here and it can quite literally be i think there's an app that you can get for your phone because most phones have accelerometers built into them so you can do this you can do this with a stop stopwatch if you want doesn't really matter it's it's about knowing that you have a five second window that you have to work in and there's a sense of urgency to doing this kind of thing um, it, yes this will be hard in an indoor range unless you know the people that run the indoor range and they allow you to come in and be in the center lane and have targets on either side but as you guys know in a set in, in shooting ranges they're very linear because if you turn you could potentially hit the wall down range same thing over here so you're gonna you're gonna have to work where, wherever it is that you shoot you're gonna have to work with it um, I'm doing my best here guys I'm just I'm trying to help as many people as I possibly can all right if you have any questions comments concerns leave them below I'll do my best to answer them um, Stephen thank you so much for your email and I hope that this answer is what you can do and yes sir please come up let's do handgun intensive again and I will craft a class that fits your needs and this goes for anybody. If you have any questions and you want to find a way on a day that works for you. Guys, I work from home. I make slings every single day except Saturday. Okay, I, I make slings every day. So I can wibble wobble my schedule to fit your needs. Shoot me up. Uh, let me know what you guys need. I'll do my best to help you. As always, I thank you all for watching. God bless you all. Get those guns out of practice. Have a good one.